Hey guys, so just gonna give you a quick demo. Um, my new board. It's really fast, I really like it. Uh, we're gonna go slightly uphill here. Uh, can you easily do about 30, 35 miles. Um, real nice little board. It's uh, it's got uh, Flipski 6354 190 kilovolt motors. This is a 63 millimeter motor. Uh, I got some cheap 90 millimeter wheels um, for trucks. Uh, what are these trucks called? The Caliber 2 trucks. And I got these uh, really cheap motor mounts. DIY E motor mounts for 63 millimeter on Amazon. Uh, pretty good setup. Also, I've got Samsung 40T uh, 10S1P battery. It's rated for 144 watt hours, so 10 to 15 mile range, depending on how uh, hard you ride it. But it's really light. Uh, the Boosted Mini S uses 266650, which is uh, adds another pound a pound and a half, so it's much bigger battery which has much bigger uh, continuous power output. Now, it's actually, um, the boosted board has very high gearing. It's almost uh, higher than three to one. This is only two to one, which means uh, boosted, it's gonna always use that high gear. So you're actually really wasting battery when you go on flat spot spots. With this setup, um, you have a much powerful battery, or sorry, more powerful motor. So you don't need such high gearing. And you can go up the hills uh, faster than the boosted Mini S. Um, yet, when you're going on flat ground, you're more efficient because you're, you're not so high geared for hills. Um, so this is a really wonderful combination. The best part, you know, it only weighs 13 pounds versus 15 pounds for the Mini S. Um, so longer range, Mini S, uh, it's only 100 watt hours. This is, uh, uh, <clears throat> it's got 144 watt, watt hours because the 40T has uh, four amps uh, capacity, but it has 35 amps continuous discharge and also it's got 45 amps a continuous discharge so long as um, your uh, batteries are under 80 degrees Celsius which which is a ton you got to be living in like tropical area to reach that so really you get pretty much um, not a, not the 50 amps that you would get with the boosted mini s battery but you would pretty much get 45 amps which is near it which is already over um, you, you really only need like 30 for these smaller boards um, I actually have it set up at uh, 35, uh, and I never go um, actually above 35 for, for the battery amps. For motor amps, I've got set at uh, about 55 amps for each motor, and I uh, really like it. It runs real good. Um, again, this is a prototype, so don't don't mind me, but uh, once I have it all worked out, I'm going to go ahead and use it, and it stops on a dime. And you can go backwards. And you can even spin out backwards. This is great. Um, very, very smooth start if you want. And you can stop on a dime on a hill like this. If you want, let me go stop fast for you. Real fast. Look at that spinning out. Anyway, um, I should have a full prototype on how to build this soon. So stay tuned, folks. Oh, and it's also super quiet, way quieter than the Mini S. You see, it doesn't make any noise, barely any noise, and it goes super slow. Look at that, no noise at all. Because it uses FOC and also the gearing allows it to run a lot quieter. So, I really like it. Mm.